Yeah. I was going to do it, but he. But you asked him to fill it up, too. We said the Pledge of Allegiance. Frank, thank you. I didn't have coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Begin the meeting with a moment of silence. Announce that the meeting is being recorded and televised by the local cable company. Like a motion for the approval of bill and payroll warrants. Any discussion? All those in favor? Motion to accept correspondence in the read file. So moved. Second. Discussion? All those in favor? Right. Public forum. Now is the time for anyone to speak who wants to speak on something that's not on the agenda. New business. Public hearing with respect to the application of D&D Whitman Market Incorporated doing business as DJ's Country Store for the transfer of the wine and malt package goods store liquor license on the premises located at 535 2 Plymouth Street. Right here at the microphone. Oh, sorry. From DJ's Country Store LLC, doing business as DJ's Country Store, to D&D, &D, Whitman Market Incorporated, doing business as DJ's Country Store, subject to the approval of the ABCC, receipt of proof of workers' comp insurance and the license and advertising fees, and surrender of the license currently held on the site. Is there a motion? You must be representing the... I am. Good uh, Good evening, Mr. Chairman, members of the board. My name is John Aida, McDermott Colton Miller, 28 State Street, Boston. Um, I'm here on behalf of D&D Whitman Market, Inc., and with me is Dinesh Kumar Patel. He is a officer, director, as well as the uh, proposed manager of record. Um, just quickly, by way of background, this is a transfer of the existing license. Uh, Mr. Patel has over 30 years' experience in the uh, convenience store and package store industry. He's a current manager of record uh, location in Canton. So he has been vetted by the ABCC. He's um, well qualified. Uh, also in attendance is Kodavai Patel. He'll be there as well. Um, and uh, we, we see no, no issues here. It's a pretty straightforward transfer. Um, no changes really in the day-to-day -day operations. Um, and also in attendance is uh, Deborah Johnson, the, the current owner. Does anyone have any questions? All those in favor? Aye. 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 You did a terrific job. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Thank you very much. Jane asked to submit this general information form. Yes. As okay. Do you have a card? I do. Yeah. And I think we're also on for a CV vote right afterwards. Public meeting with respect to the application of D and D Whitman Market okay. Incorporated doing business as DJ's Country Store for a common vidler's license on the premises located at 535 2 Plymouth Street, subject to the approval of proof of workers' comp insurance, the license fee, and final inspection approval of the Board of Health, Building Commissioner, and Fire Department. Is there a motion? So, so again, you know, uh, they're looking to have just for the most part the CV license is needed for coffee. That's really the only thing they're probably going to serve that's not prepackaged goods. But in case they expand, we'd like to have the opportunity to have that license. Okay. Any questions, anybody? All those in favor? All right. Aye. Good luck, Mr. Patel. Thank, Thank, you, very Thank you very much. Glad Appreciate to have you here. It. Thank you. Next on the agenda, I'd like to act on the request of Charlene Conway for a special amusement live entertainment license on the premises located at 1055 Auburn Street, Carol's, uh, Carousel Family Fund Center, on Saturday, June 9th from 10 to p.m. to 1 a.m. for a private adult-only roller skating event. See the attached memo. Is there a motion? So moved. Second. Mr. Chairman. Anyone here? No one's here from there. Um, would the board be amenable to including in the motion to set the fee for such one-day licenses at $40 per license. We don't currently have a fee for that. And we surveyed. Who, who, who keeps paying? Oh, I'm sorry, it's the other one. OK. Never Stand mind. Corrected, never mind. OK, then no questions as no one's here. Um, all those in favor? Aye. All right. 
Consider the request of Murphy, Lomery, and Murphy to increase the rate for legal services. Frank. Yes, they have requested a $5 increase. They have been counsel of record since 1988. That brings their current fee up to 195 Okay. Is there a motion? Yeah, so moved. Second. Okay, discussion. It's pretty much in line with the yeah. Pretty much in line with other Duxbury. Yeah. No, well, much more. <laughs> but, but we recently did a um, a search, and that is kind of the average. Okay. So. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Acting on the request of Amy Mahoney on behalf of the Conley Elementary School Parent Advisory Council to to conduct, I'm sorry, the annual Conley 5K Color Run Walk during the month of September 2018. The exact date to be determined. So moved. Any discussion? Questions? All those in favor? <laughs> Sorry. Um, act on the request of Chief Fenton to attend the IACP annual conference in Orlando, Florida. Any motion? Sure. So moved. Second. Second. Okay. Frank, would you like to introduce us or? Yes. Scott, the, did you, did um, it's it's a uh, annual conference. The chief attended one two years ago, um, and this one um, is in Florida. He'd like to attend that. Um, we probably need to set some guidelines for, uh, for how we expenses that are incurred in the course of those conferences. Mm -hmm. Yes, we don't have guidelines right now. Yeah. We have no guidelines now. No, but I think what you know going Scott. forward, we definitely I have some that we can use that we can look at, draft them up, come up with something that affects everybody in the town, and uh, or everybody who works for the town when they go for these things. But it's I think it's important that we promote these professional development outings, and it's a good idea. So uh, with that, I, I recommend that we approve it. Okay. Anybody else? Okay, I agree. Um, the, the guidelines, since we don't have guidelines right now, so we would we'd be voting to approve it. And the next time there was a, a conference, those guidelines will go into effect, or whenever we whenever we have them. Well, I would expect I that we can come up with some reasonable guidelines within the next 30 days or so. Okay. So it, it and the conference is in the fall, in I believe. October. So okay. we should be able to present something to the board by the end of June anyway. Okay. Okay, anybody else? No, seems like a plan. Okay, all those in favor? Aye. Act on any budget line transfer request. Line transfer request. There is one request before you. Um, it's for expenses for police, it's $25,000. The uh, anticipated expenses are outlined on the last page of your material, and I recommend that it be approved and that the transfer be made from the veteran benefits line, which has a surplus. Okay, someone would like to make that motion. So moved. Second. Any discussion? Frank, this has to go for the finance committee also. Correct. Any discussion further? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Set the June meeting schedule. Suggestions, anyone? Twelfth and the twenty-sixth. Twelfth mm. and the twenty-sixth. How's that? That's okay. Twelfth and twenty-sixth. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We're on the board, Frank. I have nothing. Um, Young Randy. Um, uh, in between our last meeting, and, and I just didn't get to discuss this on, on camera, um, I helped out the drunk driving mock crash up at the high school. Uh, absolutely fantastic event that I think was a, a great, the, the kids uh, learned a great lesson from it. and. I was super impressed by our police, our fire, uh, handsome police and fire. 
um, Officer Frazier from Hanson, Officer Harrington uh, from here in Whitman. It, it was just a, a great event, and and uh, my daughter also took took part in it. And uh, I would say for anyone watching, uh, I know uh, Kevin taught you we putting together a video, and, and it definitely is uh, worth checking out. Okay, thank you, Randy. Scott. Um, just uh, uh, congratulations uh, to Chief. Uh, Greno who was uh, anointed as the uh, president of FCAM today, the Fire Chiefs of Massachusetts, the Fire Chiefs Association of Massachusetts. We uh, attended a nice event, and he got a lot of great accolades, and it was uh, it was good to see. Very good, Brian. Uh, just one. I'd like to make a public apology to Frank for our non-action at the town meeting when your line item was questioned and you had to get up and, and defend yourself we should have done that and and uh in hindsight it was not a good moment for us so i just would like to make sure that you know we were on notice that we should do that next time and uh that was I wasn't, but thank you. Okay, I have a couple of things. One is Saturday's election day uh, for everyone to show up. I know it might be a rainy day, but it's, we need to get out there and vote for the person that you inclined to uh, want uh, for different boards and elected officials. And second of all, just to let people know that uh, the joint transportation committee that I am on for O'Connor Planning Council, I have been motioned to be uh, elected to be vice chairman of that board now. Oh, very good. Congratulations. I got a, a couple of things. I now have three things after Brian spoke. Um, I'm chagrined that I didn't jump up, except Frank was up there before I had a chance to even think about defending him. Um, he, he, went quick. he went quickly. He went quickly. He went quickly. But it, it would have been, it would have been better form for us one of us to beat him to the punch, and I was the closest and and I didn't um, so mea culpa on that one. I'd like to extend my congratulations to uh, Chief Greno also. I wasn't able to attend this weekend. We have a uh, ever since my parents passed a few years ago, we have a, a family reunion of my five sisters and a brother, and we were at that that weekend. Um, oddly enough. It was down in Woods Hole this year. It goes to different places. And uh, my wife and my daughter and one of her sons went to the aquarium at Woods Hole. And the guy that was the docent at the aquarium, the one that was, who was letting us in, is a former fire chief. He's a former fire chief of Falmouth. Been it hmm. for, for a long time. So we were talking about, you know, he used to come up here. He knew all about Whitman. He knew Sathworth anyway, and he knew uh, knew the toll house because his wife would come up with with him too. So I was reminded of, of Chief Greno's time while I was down there. Um, but I'm sorry I couldn't have attended. Um, when I just and the last thing when I when I just called Randy, young Randy, I want to explain that um, on the way up he showed some surprise that I actually knew and liked meatloaf. And it was kind of a, a kind of a shot at the old the guy, the so, I had, <laughs> so I had to get him back. And yeah, and it wasn't. wasn't the it, it was the singer. It was the dinner. <laughs> well, that says a lot too. But, <laughs> but anyway, so Mr. Chairman, one that of was the all thing, in, all in good fun, young, young Randy. Lost yes. A chunk of our one other thing, if I may, I'm yeah. remiss in this. Uh, as the board knows, and maybe some people do not, our accountant retired after 30 years of service. Uh, we need to begin a search for a new accountant. In the interim, I would like the board's permission to engage an individual or service on a part-time basis to provide accounting um, for us. I estimate it'll probably cost about $75 an hour or so, uh, and will be for limited hours to keep us current through the process, and I'd like permission to do that. Okay, someone would like to make a motion? I'll make that motion. Is there a second? Anyone have any questions? There's money in the line item, right? That hurt that salary was... Well, there will be. I, I, it, we may run a little short depending on how quickly we move, but it's something we need to do. You don't want a choice. Yeah. 
particularly at your end. Okay. Anyone yeah, else? Right, yeah. Anyone else? Is there a is there a, a service group to go to to find somebody? Well, I'm, I've actually uh, been in touch with an individual who served as CFO for Bellingham. Um, they just recently reorganized. They had um, a CFO and an accountant. The schools pulled out, and now it's the town only, so they downsized. Um, I have suggested to him that we would be interested in his services on an interim basis. Um, and if the board's amenable, I will make an offer. Okay. We have to, yeah. even though it'll be hourly. Yeah. Makes sense. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Okay, we need to go into executive session in accordance with Mass General Law, Chapter 30A, Section 21A, to discuss the reputation, character, physical condition, or mental health rather than professional competence of an individual, or to discuss the discipline or dismissal of complaints or charges brought against a public officer, employee, staff member, or individual. And also under Exception 3, to discuss, discuss strategy with respect to collective bargaining or litigation if an open meeting may have a detrimental effect on the bargaining or litig litigating position of the public body. Is there a motion? So moved. Second. Yes. 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 And we'll be uh, returning an open session only to adjourn. <laughs>